All right, everybody, welcome to the Q4 merchandising brainstorm for our upcoming DC projects. As you know, last holiday season, we had a big boost thanks to Bob and his Aquaman integrations. Yes, we had a lot of success across the board with both our clothing and our collectible lines, but we also had a surprising amount of traction in the ice cream sector with both our Cold Stone Creamery and Pinkberry integrations. Bob, that ocean blue velvet cake was as tasty as it was proper. Tell me about it. Now I have type 2 diabetes. is <laughs> broken. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. Moving on to summer, we had our sleeper hit Shazam really come out of nowhere. Thankfully, Lisa was there to capitalize on the film's success. Oh, you're too kind, Phil. Thanks to the film's younger target audience, we were really able to cater to the Gen Z market. The action figures and kids' costumes practically sold themselves. Plus, thanks to an integral convenience store scene, we were able to broker an extremely lucrative deal with 7-Eleven and their Slurpees. Oh, great stuff, Lisa, great stuff. All right, now we move on to holiday 2019, and oh boy, we got a doozy coming up. As you all know, Batman is by far our biggest seller, and this fall we're releasing a film that's the origin story for his most famous villain. Plus, it's directed by the guy who did The Hangover, so you know it's gonna be hilarious. So, Jerry, what have you got for Joker? Ah, <sighs> uh, you guys haven't seen the movie by chance, have you? Nope. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. Ah, uh, look, there's not really a lot of opportunities for merch in it. Not a lot of opportunities for Joker merch. I think Hot Topic would beg to differ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Suicide Squad was barely even a movie and we still managed to sell a Harley Quinn costume to every college girl ever. <laughs> okay, 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 enough fooling around. What do you really got, Jer? <sighs> okay, here we go. Uh, we got the chain lock. Uh, let your friends out, but keep your enemies in. Chain lock. Woo. I'm, uh, not seeing the connection here. Well, you would if you'd seen the movie, Bob. Uh, all right, all right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's put a pin in that. Um, what else you got? Uh, okay, then how about this pillow? Oh, okay, okay. then we just put the Joker's face on it? Um, that's not really the point. You know what? Never mind. Jared, come on. You, you gotta give me something here. Uh, okay. Hold on. Um, how about cigarettes? Jared, come on. What is it, the 90s? I wish. This gun. No, Walmart's out. Sorry. This Laminated card explaining a debilitating mental condition which symbolizes a desperate man's plea for compassion and understanding in an uncaring and indifferent world? Yeah, you lost me. Well, then, there's no way to merchandise this film. Nope. Merchandising? Jerry, do you hear yourself? What's the point of even making a movie if not to exploit the viewer's emotional connection by selling a bunch of tertiarily related crap they don't even need? <sighs> Look, Phil, I get it. Filmmaking is a business. Movies wouldn't be made if there wasn't a good chance of them making a profit. But at least there used to be a time where we had a balance between artistry and industry, where a film could just tell its story without having to worry about spawning sequels and spin-offs and more merch than 10 landfills could hold. I mean, when did ringing everything for its last dollar become the norm? Can't we just make a really good movie about a really popular character and have the massive box office returns be enough? And if that film deals with heavy themes like mental illness and society's inability to deal with it in any sort of meaningful way, maybe we don't cheapen it by releasing a bunch of plastic knickknacks that ultimately mean nothing. Maybe we should let a movie just be a movie. Wow. You know what, Jerry? You're right. Maybe we can let this movie stand on its own two feet for once. Yeah. Tell you what. Why don't I transfer you over to another one of Warner's big fall movies? 
This one should be a home run for you, buddy. It's based on a very popular Stephen King property, and I think it's got huge merchandise potential. Maximum Overdrive? Nope, even better. It's the sequel to The Shining, Dr. Sleep. everybody, Odin from the Warp Zone here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out another cool video, hit the box down there. If you want to join our Patreon community, hit the box up here. All right, how the heck did I get in there? I'm gonna think this way. Oh God, it's an empty void!